What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Ken was directed by Jonathan and Josh Baker and stars Miles Trutt, Dennis Quaid, James Franco, Jack Reiner, and Zoe Kravitz. And it's all about an ex-con and his adopted teenage brother who are forced to go on the run with a weapon of mysterious origins as their only protection as they are chased by vengeful criminals, the feds, and a gang of otherworldly soldiers. Sounds fun, right? Yeah. Okay, the positives. As usual, the cinematography work by Larkin Sepal wasn't all that bad, although it was a little dark in some areas. I couldn't really tell what was going on, but that was probably only for like two scenes. Mainly whenever the kid was in the warehouse. But other than that, I, I guess it's really nothing to complain about, but I, I just felt like I had to throw that in there. But I am putting the cinematography and everything as a whole in, in, in the positives. So I, I thought they did a pretty good job minus those scenes. The music by McGuay, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. It was done very well. It had some rap mixed in with some other like pop material. But other than that, it was done pretty well. Yeah, the characters was written pretty good. You know, the brother chemistry between the two guys. They wrote it in a way to where you actually feel for the type of relationship they had. Even though the teenage boy was adopted, was this adopted African-American 14-year-old. He struck me as a little bit of a, a shy type. Because he didn't really bring that much to the character, but at the same time... He's going through all this mess, so you kind of know what he's dealing with and why he is the way he is. Dennis Quaid, he wasn't in it that much, but I really liked him. I really like him as an actor. He was awesome in The Day After Tomorrow, but sadly he didn't have a big part in this. But from when he did show up, his character was okay, but he play, he can play just about any character in my eye. Jack Rayner as the older brother. He did a pretty good job. He played the ex-con who was, who was along with his brother being chased by all these people. Zoe Kravitz was just amazing. She was just so beautiful, especially when she first showed up. And you'll know what I mean. If, you, if any of y'all ever watched this movie, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> James Franco was just awesome as the villain in this. He played sort of the same character he did in Homefront. He played a bad guy in that, and he did really well in that. Which, if you want me to do a review on that, just click the like button and I will. But in this movie, that character and this character was kind of the same. So, I thought he did a pretty good job. You know, it's still weird seeing James Franco and other stuff. Because I grew up watching him in Spider-Man. And all three of the Spider-Mans. I always know him as Harry Osborn. Goblin Jr. As Tobey Maguire put it. Look at little Goblin Jr. There was a slight message in there that kind of got to me, and it's something that I think all of us could take to heart. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to read it off my paper because I can't remember it word for word, but I did write it down. All right, the, the kid says, and Dennis Quaid's character kind of emphasized this, and I, I think he said it at the beginning as well in the first act, but he said this, a good man does the right thing even when it's not the easy thing. So I thought that was pretty good. Even if it's the right thing, it's not always going to be the easy thing. But in the end, it's still the right thing to do. And that's what you really want to live with, is doing the right thing, even though it's not easy. So I thought that was a pretty good message, and I think all of us need to take that to heart. All right, the negatives. The pacing was a little off. It just, it, it was a sci-fi dramatic film about this kid who finds this weapon... And bad guys chasing them. Just by that premise alone, you think there would have been a lot more action in it, but there really wasn't. It was designed more as a drama than anything else. But again, all the way, because like I said in my last video, as a critic, I have to point out these things, but that doesn't always mean that I hate the film. In the story, it wasn't nothing big. Compared to these other Hollywood blockbuster hits, it, it really wasn't nothing to write home about. I'm just going to chalk it up to this. The directors and the filmmakers did something I assume that was original 
and because I've never heard of a movie or a, or a storyline that was like this. So, in that retrospect, I guess you could say that it, we, since we live in a world of remakes and reboots, you come across a movie like this. Again, there might be another movie out there like this, but I couldn't find any. So, I'm just going to chalk this up to an actual original idea, which you never get nowadays because everything has been done. i got to give the film that. The feel of this movie was a little dull. I, it, it was, but again, that's not a complaint against it entirely. But, you know, I would still recommend this for anybody who's a drama slash science fiction fan. Although you won't get any explosions like Transformers or G.I. Joe or anything, that's for sure. This movie, I think, was made on a budget of $10 million, but even in the box office, it didn't do all that well. It made like $30 million back, and I don't think that's even double what the studio wanted for it. So, don't expect to see a sequel to this. My final thoughts on it, like I said, it wasn't horrible. It didn't suck to the point to where I had to turn it off, which there was several movies in the past, way before I started my channel, that I actually did that, and that's saying a lot. But it did, at least it didn't make me do that. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't nothing to write home about. Guys, Ken, or K-I-N is what I like to call it, gets a B-. minus. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Make sure to subscribe to The Reactor, Reactions Galore, which is in the link down in the description below. And also make sure to like The Repster and The Reactor, which is also down below in the description. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Peace to rip out.